This match combines the brutality of Hell in a Cell, the unpredictability of War Games, and the tradition of Survivor Series with the importance of the World Heavyweight Championship. And just look at the size of this structure, Cole. It's 36 feet in diameter, 16 feet high, and it weighs an astounding 20,000 pounds. And all of it has been designed to punish the human body. And Triple H has momentum. This steel structure has no soul. It has no conscience. It has 10 tons of steel and two miles of chain, and quite possibly the most inhumane and vile creation in the history of WWE. Ah, but these five superstars are willing to put themselves through hell for a chance at winning the prestigious World Heavyweight Championship. Rob Van Dam and Kane have formed a bit of a partnership of late. You have to wonder if heading into tonight, they talked about forming an alliance inside the chamber. It's every man for himself inside the chamber, King. The stakes are too high for friendships. But can you imagine how dominant a Kane and Rob Van Dam alliance would be inside this structure? I mean, they'd be nearly untouchable. That'll leave a mark. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. He got that shoulder up in time. Tonight marks the second time in WWE history that New York City plays host to Survivor Series. The only other time was 1996, when Shawn Michaels defended his WWE Championship against Psycho Sid. And you can bet Michaels had that match somewhere in the back of his mind as he walked into the arena earlier today. That was not a good night for HBK. Rob Van Dam is a two-time Intercontinental Champion. Now let's not forget. Wait, what a maneuver! Another one? Is it time already? Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Triple H. Now that's a finishing move, people. Last month, the LED's been eliminated, and he doesn't look very happy about it either. Oh, the punch connects. This Elimination Chamber match is all about Raw trying to stop Stephanie McMahon and SmackDown. Hell in a Cell between Undertaker and Brock Lesnar was awesome last month. There's no doubt about it. It will go down in history as one of the most brutal matches of all time. Oh, it was brutal, all right. And in the end, it was Brock Lesnar defeating The Undertaker to retain the WWE. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, King. The plexiglass, it shattered. Oh, my gosh, I don't believe it. What impact? Oh, are you kidding? The force of that whip caused the pot wall to shatter all over the chamber. DX chop. Triple H in trouble. And he reversed it. Good move there. He gets out of trouble there. series is an event so rich in tradition. The first one took place on Thanksgiving Day back in 1987 in Richfield, Ohio. And in the main event, Andre the Giant last eliminated Bam Bam Bigelow to be the sole survivor of his team. Chris Jericho, a co-holder of the World Tag Team Championship, would love nothing more than to leave Survivor Series with the World Heavyweight Championship. And of course, Chris Jericho and his partner Christian captured the World Tag Team Championship last month on Raw when they defeated the Hurricane and Kane. And you can bet Kane has not forgotten about that. And he's forced back in the ring. And there he goes, under the bottom rope. And maybe some order will be restored here. Single leg busted, trap being applied. Very damaging submission. Well, oh, he's going to have to block out the pain if he hopes to escape this. Let me ask you this, Cole. What if Triple H is pinned or submits here? That means that Triple H would be eliminated. And we would be guaranteed a new World Heavyweight Champion here tonight at Survivor Series. And if Triple H does manage to win, he would certainly deserve to be called World Heavyweight Champion. Surviving this match will be no easy task. Over the years, Survivor Series has been the site of some of sports entertainment's most iconic moments. 
And tonight's no different with the debut of the Elimination Chamber. Well, for my money, King, there's nothing more memorable. That's it. He's done. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Booker T with a slick reversal. Oh, a reversal. Ooh. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Chris Jericho. Nice reversal there. Man, Chris Jericho, what offense. Enjoying this. Chris Jericho knows how to polish off an opponent. There will be six bodies that will be so sore that they'll have a hard time bathing tomorrow. But there's going to be one man that will leave here tonight and say that it was all worth it. Our category Triple H nails it again. Chris Jericho claims to be the king of the world. But will he be the king of the elimination chamber? Will he be the king of the ring tonight and leave with the world as a cover? That's it for Y2J. Yeah, and that one's going to put a dent in Jericho's ego. No! Broken up! Wait a minute, what's he doing here? Pain and trouble here. Here goes Triple H. Work is being put in by Booker T. He's got him hooked. Triple H knows how to pull himself an opponent. Bam! Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship back on September 2nd. But if you pull the onion back one more layer, you'll see that the game is 0-6 at Survivor Series. He's winless. Quit talking about onions. And normally, Ric Flair would be a huge advantage for Triple H at ringside. But with the Elimination Chamber, I don't see how the Nature Boy could be any factor whatsoever. I agree, King. I don't see how Ric Flair can be in the game here tonight. No pun intended. No onion intended. <laughs> Since coming to WWE, Booker T has captured both the Hardcore and World Tag Team Championship, but never the big Booker T can live his dreams tonight in New York City. Nobody deserves this opportunity more than Booker T. Well, I can think of five guys that disagree with that statement right there, Cole. If the results from earlier tonight are any indication of what's to come in the Elimination Chamber, we may be looking at a new World Heavyweight Champion. We've had four championship matches so far, and in all four matches, a new champion was crowned. And you know, I must admit, I was shocked to see Paul Heyman turn his back on Brock Lesnar. That's it. He's out. Kane looking at this quickly. Reversal. Uh-oh, trying to put him away. Scores with a tremendous move. He's got him covered. Look at this. I love it. Michaels is a performer. Oh, there's a smile on Booker T's face. And there's the reversal. Booker T with a great offensive show. You know, Cole, I hear people say that Triple H doesn't deserve the World Heavyweight Championship or that the title was handed to him. But the fact of the matter is that he's beaten the very best during his time as champion. Well, he hasn't beaten Shawn Michaels, King. These two men have a hatred for each other that runs so deep. Yeah, and good what a move. At six foot, 10 inches tall, at 320 pounds, Kane is sent right into the left sand. Cole, what's he got in mind? And the offensive display by Shawn Michaels. Oh! And the offensive display by Shawn Michaels. He wasted no time going for that pin. You have to respect the confidence and poise Triple H is showing. Hey, making his statement as we speak. Oh my, 
Shawn Michaels is in position. Work is being put in by Booker T. Oh, man! Kane is a former WWE Champion, and maybe more importantly, 4-1 in his career at Survivor Series. And he would love to go back inside this dangerous elimination chamber. Wait a minute, Michael! What is, what is Shawn Michaels trying to do here? He's going for the pedigree, too, like his own blue. Body using it against him. Oh, and Michael flopped on that steal. No, the game was not going to stand for that. Look at him now. Oh! Oh, my God! Shawn Michaels sent right into the pod. Through that Lexan. He went crashing right into that chamber. How is Michaels going to survive that? This chamber is so dangerous. It'll cut short careers. Man, Triple H, what offense. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. Booker T is a five-time WCW. Can he score the pin? Oh, in this very arena, at WrestleMania 10, Shawn Michaels squared off against Razor Ramon in a groundbreaking ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. And now, eight years later, Shawn Michaels is a part of history in this arena again. This time, the first ever Elimination Chamber match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, what a move from Triple H! That's how you sweep an opponent under the carpet. What's gonna happen now? Oh, that's it. That's gotta be it. Triple H now, that's a finishing move, people. We got a cover. Kane Kane's been eliminated. Oh boy, that's just gonna make him even more angry. And Booker's done here. It just wasn't Booker's night. What offense Shawn Michaels is showing at this point. And Shawn Michaels has all the momentum here. And the body contorts in a natural way. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look at this, King. Going up to the next level. Heads up! Look at Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels hit that one. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. That's it. He's out. He could pin his opponent right here. Three. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is the world heavyweight champion. Oh my gosh, they're on their feet here in New York City. I don't believe it. Shawn Michaels has done the impossible, Cole. There's a new sheriff in town. Shawn Michaels is back in the record books. Shawn Michaels is back on top. Shawn Michaels is the man. Shawn Michaels is the world heavyweight champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. 
Rob Van Dam has come close to becoming World Heavyweight Champion on a couple of occasions, but he never got it done. One time thanks to Ric Flair and a sledgehammer. I remember that vividly. Uh, close, but no cigar, Cole. But I have a feeling that tonight, Rob Van Dam is going to be smoking a big cigar. This may be RVD's night. This is Shawn Michaels' first title defense since winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. Yeah, this match should include Chris Jericho, and it would have if it wasn't for Scott Steiner. I thought you'd bring that up. You've become one big Chris Jericho butt kisser, I gotta tell you. What? Shawn Michaels had the will to win at Survivor Series. He had the belief that he could reach down into his soul and pull it off and beat anybody in that ring with him. And that's exactly what he did. He beat five other men. Yeah, but you have to admit, Cole, he had an advantage. He didn't have to enter that elimination chamber until very late in the match. He got to sit back and watch a lot of those guys literally beat the hell out of each other. Including Rob Van Dam, who was in that match from the get-go. You know, I must admit, I'm still shocked that after all that time away, Shawn Michaels was able to outlast five other superstars in the Elimination Chamber to become World Heavyweight Champion. And those superstars came, of course, being Chris Jericho, Booker T, Kane, Triple H, and the man in the ring with him right now, Rob Van Dam. That elbow did some damage. He gets out of trouble there. Ooh. Ooh, a serious knockout blow. What do we got here? Oh, man! What impact from that suplex! Not giving Shawn Michaels a chance to recover. Actually, that's smart. And he gets out of the way. Rob Van Dam with the offense. Rob Van Dam plans on gaining some altitude here. Well, that's only after then undisputed WWE Champion Brock Lesnar became exclusive property of SmackDown. You know, when you think about it, Bischoff had no choice but to introduce the World Heavyweight Championship. And upon awarding the title to Triple H, Bischoff had some pretty flattering words for the game, claiming that if he had signed it the Nitro years earlier, WCW would have won the Monday Night War. Oh, what a swinging neck breaker. And did you hear the impact on that kick? The showstopper has taken control. He saw that one coming. Nice reversal by Michaels. Now, how many times have we seen that from HBK over the years? He anticipated that move perfectly.
Oh, uh oh. Rob Van Dam won a triple threat match here live last week to become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Booker T and Chris Jericho were the other two men in that match. And let's not forget Christian and Scott Steiner interjected themselves into the match. It was pure chaos. But when the smoke cleared, it was Rob Van Dam who walked away with tonight's title opportunity. Oh my, what a move! Van Dam is looking for something big here. The tide has turned again. They're going to fight to the end. Oh, look at the emotion. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. And we're going to talk about how powerful an alliance can be with Triple H. Let's look at the flip side of that coin. Like in July of 2002, when in one of the most horrific nights in WWE history, he betrayed a returning Shawn Michaels and threw his head through a car window. Oh, oh watch out. What's he going to do here? Bam! Big forearm off the run from HBK. And a kip up by Shawn Michaels. And Michaels is feeling it. Shawn Michaels is feeling it. Sweet chin music time. Tuning up the band. Here it comes. And now RBD ducks the sweet chin music and hits with his own. This guy's just getting worn out. All right. Van Dam is going up yet again. Rob Van Dam. Whoa! Five star frog splash to the back of Shawn Michaels. Can Van Dam capitalize? All he's got to do is turn HBK over, and this should be it. Here we go. Van Dam into the cover, hooks the leg. Who the heck? Hey! Triple H! What's Triple he H is here! Look out! Rolling in this title match with a pedigree to Van Dam! Yeah, but you gotta know, this is not about Rob Van Dam. This is the vindictive Triple H going against Oh, oh going after Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Triple H that has been obsessed with the heartbreak kid. Oh, now, wait a minute. Put that down. What? Oh, this is not going to be good. The game with that steel chair in the ring. And look at the way he's eyeing Shawn Michaels. He despises Shawn Michaels. He will not stop at anything until he ends Shawn Michaels' career. Shawn is down and out here. Oh, wait. Look at this. Michaels firing back. Big right hand to Triple H. Oh, right back to the midsection to the game. And now the game, hammering away on Michaels. This is turning into a brawl here. And Michaels never giving up, King. He's got the heart. He's got the guts. He's got the soul of a champion. Shawn Michaels just will not quit. Oh, wait a minute. Look oh. out. Right through the chair. Oh. When is this going to end?
The following contest is set for one fall, and it is to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, being accompanied by Ric Flair, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 252 pounds, Triple H! Triple H has to pin Rob Van Dam or make him submit. If the game gets disqualified for violating the rules, Rob Van Dam goes to Armageddon to meet Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, that's right, Cole, but Shawn Michaels has to call this thing right down the middle. If he doesn't, he could be stripped of the title right here tonight. And making his way to the ring, from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! It was three months ago tonight, on September 2nd, that Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship by Eric Bischoff. On that same night, Triple H lost a tag team match and was pinned by none other than Rob Van Dam. It could be fake, King. Well, Rob Van Dam has been so close to being world champion on so many occasions, it's not even funny. back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE, but he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did. And I didn't think he could win it, but he believed and went on to become World Heavyweight Champion. Well, what's your point, Cole? Shawn Michaels has overcome so much, not just to return to the ring, but to become World Heavyweight Champion. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. Look at these two jockey for position. Triple H trying to make it to Armageddon and hoping to add to his already impressive resume that includes one World Heavyweight Championship reign and five WWE title reigns. Well, let's not forget the Intercontinental, European, and Tag Team Championships, as well as the King of the Ring and Royal Rumble wins. He anticipated that move perfectly. Oh! And he's in a world of trouble here. Suplex. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. He was able to reverse that. Rolling out of the ring, and it might be time for him to reassess the situation. 
And this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life. Ouch! Whipped right into that wall. In recent weeks, King, we've seen some type of relationship forming between Ric Flair and Batista. What do you make of it? Well, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Flair essentially told Batista earlier tonight that he hadn't seen anybody with as much potential as he has in a long, long time. And moments later, Batista went on to make quick work of the hurricane. Well, you gotta wonder what Batista could become under the tutelage of Ric Flair and potentially even the Nature Boy's best It'll Triple H with a cover on Rob Van Dam, and there's Shawn Michaels, and oh man, Triple H is not gonna like that, King. You think that was a little slow? You think? <laughs> the game is living. And now Rob Van Dam is rolling up Triple H, and Whoa! oh! <laughs> a really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. Oh, look at RVD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RVD going to do here? Oh, big sower oh, Right to the gut. And another. Look at this. Oh, Triple H with the close on. Oh, they both ducked. And now RVD off the ropes onto HBK. Woo a jumping corner splash. Now what? He's got him up. He's measuring his mind buster connect. That'll rearrange your organs a bit. Triple H looking to finish things. Pedigree, pedigree. The game's going to do it. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff came out here and stripped Shawn Michaels of the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Oh, come on, King. Why in the world would you say that? What? Michaels hasn't done anything to warrant that happening. Bad officiating, Cole. This is as one-sided as it gets. Michaels is obviously for Rob Van Dam. Oh, his body has to be broken. And this has got to be it. Reluctantly counting the one, two, three. I know Shawn Michaels hates that, but the game shoving it right in Michaels' face. One, two, three, and now what? Oh, look at this. Triple H demanding that Shawn Michaels raise the game's hand in victory. Here, I guess he's going to have to eat pro and do it. Oh! oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> Michaels unloading on Triple H, and Triple H turned to the tables. And another brawl is broken out between these two. Oh, my gosh, the fists are flying. The game, and Shawn Michaels going at it. Emotions running so high between these two men. They can't oh. stand each other. Wow. This has become so personal each and every week. All they got here, no! Oh, big elbow off the rope, and Woo! the showstopper back to his feet. And finally, some help out here. And yeah, they're gonna have to try oh, to... Oh, sweet chin music! Well, Triple H may have won this match, but he sure didn't win the fight. The King of Kings, the Heartbreak Kid, two forces set to meet in a three stages of hell match at Armageddon. The first fall, a knockdown drag him out street fight. The second fall, a more menacing arena as a hellacious steel cage surrounds the two combatants. And if necessary, the final stage where victory is won from the top of a ladder. 
Our story begins at Survivor Series. Shawn Michaels with the elbow from the top of the chamber. Shawn Michaels is the world's heavyweight champion. Legendary world heavyweight champion Ric Flair surprisingly showed a sign of support for the new champion. There was a time I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was the man. The kid up on the raft just said, hey, nature boy, you ain't the man anymore. It's Shawn Michaels. Until Flair made clear what his message was really about. There is a new man in town. If you're not ready to pass the torch, he'll kill you. The night was far from over for Triple H and Shawn Michaels as Raw culminated in a brawl no! No! that would set the stage for Armageddon. We're not seeing Shawn Michaels. You're seeing the showstopper right now. Taking out Flair. He's taking out the number one contender. Oh, that's the heart. Oh, my God, he's pounding that ladder to the top. No, oh, God, no. Michaels, the elbow on the top of the semi. A clash of colossal proportions as Triple H takes on Shawn Michaels in three Stages of Hell. It's for the World Heavyweight Championship, and it's scheduled for the best two out of three falls. The first fall will be a street fight. The second fall will be held inside a steel cage, and the third fall, if necessary, will be a leather match. At this time, accompanied by Nature Boy Ric Flair, here is the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing 272 pounds, Ripple H. Triple H is the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Cerebral Assassin is a calculating career killer. And tonight, the game wants to win the world title. And he would love to end Shawn Michaels' career once and for all while he's at it. Well, you're right about that, Cole. We've heard it over and over. The end is near. And the game may be the end of Shawn Michaels right here tonight. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing 225 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, John Michaels. After what we saw on Raw last week with Shawn Michaels jumping off that semi and driving his elbow into Triple H while he was in a dumpster, I think that answers the question as to whether it's going to be Shawn Michaels or whether it's going to be HBK here tonight. That was HBK all the way. Yeah, but I don't know if that truly did answer the question, Cole. Sure, that was HBK. That was the showstopper jumping off the top of that semi. But if you ask me, that was Shawn Michaels who had to lay in wait and hit Triple H with a shovel to get him into that position in the first place. Now what's going to happen tonight when they face each other nose to nose? Shawn Michaels. And look at what he's doing, King. Yeah, he's mocking Ric Flair. That strut. Not many people can mock Nate to get away with it. Oh, and Flair's livid. And Triple H trying to call Flair down. Oh, the master of the mind games. Shawn Michaels. And, oh, yeah. What? Is the referee throwing? Oh, no. He's not only throwing Flair out of here, he threw him down on the ground. Shawn Michaels, what a ploy by Michaels. This is the ultimate humiliation for the nature boy, Ric Flair. 
Oh, what about this? This match is underway. Minus the Nitro Boy, Ric Flair. This is the first fall in this match, and it is a street fight. No disqualifications, no countouts. The match will continue until one man either loses by pinfall or submission. Anything goes in a street fight. Yeah, and with the abuse that both these men are likely to go through under these street fight rules, you gotta believe that whoever wins this first fall is gonna have a huge advantage. Good point, King, because no matter how resilient both Triple H and Shawn Michaels are, whichever one loses this first fall may not be able to recuperate from the punishment he suffers in this street fight environment. He's got him! And Triple H, what offense! Good Lord, huge impact into that barrier. Uh-oh, look where he's going again. If there's anybody in the game who knows the strengths and weaknesses of Shawn Michaels, it is the game. And Triple H won't hesitate to target those weak spots. Well, we all remember his vicious sledgehammer attack after Shawn Michaels beat Triple H. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh! I thought he was going to get leveled there. Uh, hey! Wow, he was just about to get his head taken off. Well, nobody knows better than Triple H the damage that HBK's back has suffered throughout the years. Much of it at the hands of Triple H himself. You gotta wonder, King, how vulnerable is Shawn Michaels' lower back? And how crucial a factor will his back be in this match? Well, it's got a big bullseye on it, that's for sure. And the cerebral assassin will take dead aim at it. It's hard to put into... Wow, that's gotta be it. Man, I used to never see this happen to HBK. I never seen the showstopper get beat up like this. Is that proof that Shawn Michaels is a half step slower than he used to be? Or is it just a testament to the... Triple H! What a maneuver! Can he score the pin? Two! Oh, and Triple H wins the first fall in three stages of hell. Triple H! Oh, man. That is huge. And now... The second fall will be contested inside the steel cage. Oh, no. To win the fall, you must win it by either pinfall or escape through the door or over the top. In either case of escape, both feet must touch the floor. And look at the game. He's loading the ring with, well, with weapons. This match is underway, but before that cage came down, the game was smart enough to load the ring up with weapons he can use. Well, the referee might have made the biggest call of the match before the bell had even sounded when he ejected Triple H's mentor and advisor, Ric Flair, from the contest. Unfairly, I might add. I don't know if it was or wasn't fair, King, but it's the referee's call, and the referee's call is final. Yeah, but Flair didn't do anything to deserve that. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. A reversal. This could be huge. And the offensive display by Shawn Michaels. Things are about to get ugly. Cole, you talked about when Ric Flair returned to WWE as a co-owner with Mr. McMahon. That was indeed a shocker. When you think about the street fight they had in the 2002 Royal Rumble in Flair's backyard of Atlanta, Georgia, it was a match that no one thought they would ever see. Oh, out of nowhere! And he reversed it! Good move there! Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. for so long lived in the shadow of Shawn Michaels in the late 90s. I find it interesting that before Shawn Michaels was injured, Triple H had two title reigns. When Shawn Michaels got hurt and had to sit down for four years, Triple H had... Oh my gosh! Everything about this three stages of hell match is so unforgiving, and everything comes into... This has been a classy match. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What is, what is, what is Flair doing? Flair has just opened the cage inside the cage. Flair has 
has no business being in that cage. That dirty SOB. Well, he may regret getting in the cage if you ask me. Look at this. Oh! oh. Now Ric Flair sits face first into that steel cage. And look at this. His face being grinded like a, like a cheese grinder. Today. Meanwhile, Triple H taking advantage of the distraction. Oh. The pedigree is back body drop for Michaels. Oh. Sweet music. Shawn Michaels with the sweet chin music on the Nature Boy, and now the game and Nature are down. And Triple H with a reversal. And that's because the game has a gift for getting out of trouble, Cole. Nice reversal there. Luthes press. Oh, Triple H cannot be enjoying this. Doing whatever it takes to win. I can't believe Shawn Michaels coming back after four years, not only just to be good, but to be great, to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And quite frankly, I don't know of another athlete in the world that could have done that. Well, we've seen Triple H come back from some great injury himself, Cole. I mean, a torn quadriceps, the trachea injury he sustained at Survivor Series. Heck, you could probably cut Triple H's right leg off at the knee, and he'd still compete here tonight. A terrific reversal by Triple H. Oh, Shawn Michaels wants to inflict some punishment. He wants to humiliate Triple H. The showstopper has shown up. Well, just as Triple H wanted to cripple Shawn Michaels to put HBK back in a wheelchair, Shawn Michaels would love to do the same thing to the game. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised to see Shawn Michaels drive that semi in here and try to jump off of it again, just like he did last week. has done it. Will it be? Two. Oh, it's Shawn Michaels. And he's even things up. The winner of this fall, evening this bout at one fall apiece, Shawn Michaels. Both these superstars are spent, but Shawn Michaels has got it back to even. Now, wait a minute. And now, the third and deciding fall will be contested as a ladder match. Oh my gosh. Once again, it goes from bad to worse. You know, oh Michael, I don't think either one of these superstars have the strength or power left to even climb a ladder. He anticipated that move perfectly. No DQ matches are so dangerous. And he's toast. He gets out of trouble there. What kind of devastation will we see now? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. What's the game going to do here? Oh, I don't know if the ladder's going to be a task after that. I don't like the looks of this. Oh! King, did you see that? Oh, man, it doesn't get much closer than that. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? Nice 
nice dodge there. Not giving Shawn Michaels a chance to recover. Smart. And saving the title. Oh man, so close for the game, but HBK able to pull. Oh, oh sweet oh. chin music! Not Triple H to the floor. And you know what this means? If Shawn Michaels can get to his feet, all he's got to do is climb that ladder. What is Flair doing? Flair very active at ringside, but that's what it's all about. The prize hanging above the ladder. Shawn Michaels could be just moments away. Michaels checks the scenery. Now he's going to climb the ladder. He's going to head up top king. He's looking for the championship. Well, Shawn Michaels has had the heck beat out of him, but somehow he's reaching down deep here. Make that last run. Oh, look at this. Triple H. Ah! Michaels set to a table. What a spill. Oh, my God. Shawn Michaels' body lying helpless on the floor after going through those tables. And now it looks like it's clear sailing to the titles for the game. Whoa, I think he lost his footing. Whoops. Oh, that wasn't good. Shawn Michaels' career, and it came at the hands of Triple H. But the game may have taken months of his own career, too. What an amazing performance by both men. of bitter, intense battles, Armageddon seemed to put a bookmark in the chapter of Triple H and Shawn Michaels. But there was certainly no rest for the weary, just as The Game and HBK were at their most vulnerable. Other superstars were making their play to capitalize. HBK really does stand for Has Been Kid. Chris Jericho set his sights on ending the career of his childhood hero, Shawn Michaels. Meanwhile, Booker T challenged Triple H for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Triple H may be looking at the next heavyweight champion of the world. Both rivalries would culminate in two epic encounters at WrestleMania 19. Michaels with a roll up. Oh, yes. And a green. Oh, yeah. And a green. And it's over. But it wasn't until the night after WrestleMania that the game and HBK would cross paths again, granting a voice of reason to emerge from the shadows. You guys are my friends! We gotta get this together! You gotta know something, man. It ain't never gonna be over between me and Shawn Michaels. You've gotta make a choice. It's either him or me. Triple H, defiant in his ways, refused to see the light and tensions would again flare. Thank goodness for Nate and Jericho. They stopped Shawn Michaels at the very, very last second. Kevin Nash! Triple H is trying to explain to Nash that Shawn Michaels kicked Triple H. What? What the hell is that about? There's got to 
to be a method to the madness of the game. In the backlash of the destruction, Triple H and Shawn Michaels would be joined by four top contenders in a three-on-three six-man tag team matchup. What a night it's gonna be Sunday at Backlash!